In this video, we are going to find the PostgreSQL process ID which is running more than specified time. From time to time, we need to investigate if there is any query running indefinitely on our PostgreSQL database. These long running queries may interfere on the overall performance and probably they are stuck on some background process. In order to find them, we can use the query. Copy this query which kept this in video description of this video. Paste it here. This query written process ID of user and the query running by this user relevant PID that is process ID. This data name is the database name where this query is running on. For example, if you want to kill this process ID that is 2495, copy it. First, try to cancel the process ID. Cancel the process ID by executing this query. Copy this query. To, to verify that, execute the above query again. Copy. Paste it here. See, so query has been not cancelled. In this case, we have to terminate the process by running the PG terminate background query. Copy this one, paste it here. Now check whether the process is still running or not. Copy it, paste it here. See, it's gone now. For example, if query is running more than 10 minutes, then execute this query. Paste it here. See, output is zero because there is no query running more than 10 minutes. Similarly, if you want to check the query running for more than one hour, simply give it 60 minutes and try for it. Paste it here. Enter. See, there is no query. If it lists any process ID, then kill it by running the query. First, try to cancel the query with this query. Still, it's not cancelling. It's running. Then run this terminate. It will immediately terminate the process from PostgreSQL server process. So, in this video, we covered how to check number of the processes running in PostgreSQL server and kill the particular process ID from PostgreSQL server. First try to cancel with this query. First try to cancel the process ID with this query. Still it was there. So we have terminated the session from PostgreSQL server. Later what we did, we tried to get the query running for more than 10 minutes using this query. Later, we try to check the queries running from more than one hour on Postgres. So, we haven't found any queries running more than 10 minutes or 60 minutes. For more updates, please subscribe to my channel. If, if this tutorial is helpful, like it and share it. Thank you for watching this tutorial.